Alright guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. If you're not doing well, well, good news. I think you're about to be doing well because I believe the market is setting up for a god candle higher very soon in Bitcoin. So I do think you're about to see us just get a massive green candle to the upside and it's going to take us at least to $32,000 at the very minimum. Okay, But we have the potential to break past that level and go much much higher than that but the god candle i expect to get us minimum to 32k and way possibly higher than that but that would be our major resistance point that we have to say okay this is the only thing really stopping us from going much higher is this 32k area so i'm going to show you that level right now and uh yeah dude the way bitcoin is moving right now it's my sense it is my intuition that leads me to believe that it is coiling up for that God candle. You can believe me or you don't have to believe me. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and show you on chain analytics. I'm not going to sit here and talk about the macro with you. At this point, I've built up my reputation for being pretty damn accurate. And people know that, you know, when I say something nine times, not nine times out of 10, but probably eight times out of 10, it's going to be right when I publicly say something like this. So, you know, like I said, I'm at the point now where I don't even really have to explain myself anymore which is cool. So look, I want to show you the next level here. Um, you know, 32K, that is our major level where if you're a bear, that level is your last hope as a bear. Okay. And that is the only place that looks shortable in Bitcoin. That is the only spot you may potentially short Bitcoin. That is it. Outside of that 32K area, there is no, absolutely no reason to be shorting Bitcoin. In my opinion, you're crazy if you're shorting Bitcoin at any spot besides 32K here in the short to medium term. Now, maybe, you know, should we break out past that level and hit 48K? That's a level that, you know, we could talk about shorting, right? You know, that that's a level that we could really short. Of course, there, are, there will be pullbacks on the way to potentially getting to a 48K right now, which it may seem crazy, but once again, we break 32K, that all of a sudden becomes a very likely thing, actually. Okay, so once again, obviously, I understand this is a major barrier right here. This level is a major level. And like I said, if you're a short seller, that is your level right there. That is your moment to strike short on this market. But if that if this level fails as a short seller, you got to cut your losses if you're shorting the market and realize it is not the time to be short because just as quickly as we came down, okay, we can just as easily come back up through this area because once again it wasn't much of a battle there's not much structure there for us to fight on the way back up here okay and so yeah that's what we're looking at right now it's pretty damn simple now what I've said since I called the bottom right is that look over here the market was down into the right okay what a lot of people don't understand because they still think it's a bear market overall right is they're they're not understanding the energy and direction of the market you see from now on guys this is not a down into the right market. I said this since the day I called the bottom, right? This is an up into the right uh, energy market environment. And so, you know, that means, look, you can still pull back 40%, but the overall energy and direction of the market is up into the right now. See, you need to understand when the energy and momentum shifts. And that's what a lot of people still don't get if they're bearish is, look, man, you can be bearish if you really want to micro short term, but overall, the medium term, the long term is all... It's all in your favor as a bull. And so just here in the bear market, you know, uh, just as a, a, a permanent bear would be bailed out as a short seller, now a perma bull will be bailed out as a bull, okay, as a buyer. You will be bailed out regardless if the market pulls back 40% because, for example, here, if you shorted the bottom at 33K, look at this, guys. The market bounces up 47% before going way lower. Look at this. You shorted the bottom here, it goes up 44% and it goes way lower, right? So just as in a bear market, you have massive 40% bounces, well, guess what? When the energy and direction of the market is up and to the right, you can still have those 40% drops, right? A 40% drop right now would get us, bam, down at 18K. But once again, the energy and direction of the market is what? Up and to the right still, you see? So... Once again, it's going to take people time to truly realize that and get that. And I think now more than ever, people are starting to realize that because the price is up double now from the bottom when I called the bottom, right? 
So that's the thing is obviously when I called it, people thought I was crazy and people disagreed and people were calling me stupid. They told me you're too young and naive. You don't understand the macro is what people were telling me. And it turns out the only macro we found out about was how macro massive my nuts are in these people's mouths as they suck them all the way up to now a double from the bottom. And if you plug in this tweet here, you'll see that this is all timestamp, guys. This is all on my YouTube. You can't make this up, okay? I shorted the top at 69K. Now I long the bottom at 16K. I want to thank myself for my unprecedented predictive abilities. I also want to say thank you to all the fools who had to be uh, at 69 and 16K who had to be wrong so that I could be right. This wouldn't be possible without you. Once again, this is time stamped, guys. And I can't even edit tweets because I don't have the blue check. Right? You got to pay monthly to, to edit your tweets a little. And even then, to a certain point, I don't think you can just go back and edit and change your tweets. Right? So, you know, once again, you can see where this is marked January the 6th. Right? And that was one of the cockiest tweet of, tweets of my life. But I'm telling you, I have a, a, a crazy market intuition and sense. And that's how I call the bottom here at 16K on January the 6th, which is right here. Okay? So exactly where the tweet marker points to. So once again, that's kind of why like, I'm, I'm to the point now where I don't have to break down all the indicators. I don't have to break down any fundamentals or any of this you know, jack crap that you, you know, people have to try and act like they know what they're talking about. At the end of the day, I have a market sense. I have an intuition that is, you know, it's just on a different level. And that's why people watch me, right? So at this point, man, I, you know, we could sit here and what most people are going to do is they're going to show you indicators. They're going to try to show you on-chain evidence and all this BS. None of that stuff truly matters if you can just say what the fuck's going to happen. And I'm telling you right now what's probably going to happen, we're going to get a God candle up to 32K, and that's going to be our major level to watch out for. We break that level, yeah, there's a lot of freaking upside for this market. So now just know that, yeah, maybe in the short term you may be a little bit off right now. Right? Maybe, bam, you're you're leaning towards breaking out past this level, and we don't, and we actually get our 30 to 40 percent pullback within our up into the right market. Okay, it's fine. Why? Because look, you're planting your seeds. You planted your seeds here. You planted your seeds here. If you plant your seeds incorrectly a little bit here, but then you're planting more seeds there. You're planting more seeds there, and eventually, you know, it doesn't matter because you've been planting your seeds in the overall the very right moments. Okay, unlike a lot of people. Who were planting their seeds up there, 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 there the whole time, not listening to me when I was bearish and when I was short on the market. So once again, it's just it's a way more advantageous time to be a permabull than it is to be a perma bear, obviously. And trust me, uh, you know you've been through the worst at this point, and you know it's truly if you've got through this, uh, you can get through any short term being a little bit wrong here if you're a bull. And for the typical person, that's exactly what you want to do is, man, just use it as an opportunity to buy more at this point on any pullbacks we may get in the market. Okay, And especially, you guys know, typically Bitcoin will have its first bottom and then we'll come back later on in the year or a little bit over a year later for a second bottom. Okay, And a lot of times that second bottom will be slightly higher than that first bottom and we go higher. right? So yeah, that that is kind of the overall... Uh, analysis here right now is it's hard right now at this exact moment now maybe in two hours it becomes very easy for me to determine whether Bitcoin's gonna break that level or not but at this exact moment I'm leaning like 70% chance that we're gonna uh, break through that level and 30% chance that short sellers are gonna get a very nice short at this level and we could pull back from there right so that's just kinda my my probabilities right now uh, on that level and that is the hard uh, in gray area uh, right now is that level but should we break past that level the sky is clear and you know we're looking good so once again I expect my prediction is soon okay Bitcoin has been going sideways it's coiling up for a god candle higher up to 32k from that point okay you may catch a, a little short here maybe even a, a nice short that could maybe even last longer than you know we want maybe it could last a month or two okay but the point is, once again, energy directions market is that way, right? So whether that is the top for a month or two, or we blow past that, okay? I mean, once again, that is our gray area. And so you can just play it like that. If you want, sell your crypto when we get here. If we prove that we can break out 
above that and you want to buy back in, do that. But, you know, like it's up to you to play that based on what you're seeing at the moment. At the moment right now, I think 70% chance we're going to break past that. But at the same time, I know, yeah, we could top out there in the short term. This is the fucking level. This is the level we're paying attention to. This is the this is the level that means everything to us right now. We break that level. Absolutely, we've got so much upside. We can easily get to 40K to 48K next. So our job this next month is one, let's be right first about my prediction, right? Is that we're going to get a God candle up to here, right? I can only predict so damn far out into the future, right? On like every single step of the move, right? Like first it's going to go here to here, then it's going to pull back for seven days, and then it's going to go back up for 10 days, and then it's going to go back up for, you know, down for one month, up for seven days. Like obviously I can't pinpoint every single gosh dang pivot in this market, you know? So what we're focusing on right now is we know, all right, Crash's prediction, right? Crash, that's my name, if you're new to the channel. All right, his prediction, we're going to get a God candle up to 32K. Bam, that's my prediction. If I'm right, you come back and you say, you were right, good shit. But then, okay, obviously, Crash told me, all right, this is the moment of, of, of truth here is that level. That's the level we're trying to find out. Can we break that level or are we going to top out short term there, right? And so that's what we're going to be trying to figure out once we get there based on the evidence that we have at that point because – there's going to be some evidence, hopefully, that is going to give us a more clear signal by the time we get there. For example, by the time we get here, guys, the U.S. dollar may be breaking down through support. And in that case, then you know that, yeah, we're going to break through resistance here. Does that make sense? So we just don't have enough evidence to definitively say what we think is going to happen when we get there because, man, the evidence may change by the time we get there. Dollar could be breaking down, and that means Bitcoin is going to have a much easier, easier path to break up and out. Okay. So yeah, God candle, I'm thinking we go to 32K minimum, and then we, we got to figure it out from there. So subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep you up to date uh, on that. But for now, expect us to pump 10% uh, higher, and expect a, a good pump here in Bitcoin is what I'm, uh, I'm planning for. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, follow me on Twitter, that's where I've been the last week. Really, that's where I'm on. 80% of the time is on Twitter, not on YouTube. And we've been killing it in meme coins. And, uh, you know, some notable calls would be this one right here. Literally this double bottom. And now called this uh, here. And we're up over 700% there. Another meme. And we got some other memes. Uh, anyone who's following me on Twitter knows that we're up quite a bit. So, yeah. Trading memes mostly right now. Because memes, you know, look, look at Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin's been going sideways for one month. It's been doing nothing for 50 days, basically. So in the in the same time that Bitcoin has went up like 6%, look at what memes are doing. Memes are going up. Uh, 300K market cap, and now it's at 4.2 million. Okay, so what's the X on that? A 1,700% move. So in the same time that Bitcoin moved up 6%, you got coins moving up 1,700%. That's why I've been trading memes the last two months while Bitcoin does nothing and goes sideways. So yeah, that's my update, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're all doing well. And if you're not following me on Twitter, you've got to be there because that's where I am 90% of the time. I'll see you guys later. Take care.